Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this fun looking button. So when I hover, it's going to shrink in and when I click, it's going to expand and say oh yeah. So let's get started. Alright, so here is our practice file for today and you can see it's super simple. If you want, you can pause this video and use these same colors which I was using. And the font is Poppins, which is free Google font and free Adobe font. So you can get it if you want this design to look exactly like mine. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool, drag one out. These corners are going to be rounded all the way in. And for the dimensions, I'm going to use 419 with 142. I'm going to position it in the center, switch to my layers panel and call it BTN dark or BTN BG dark or whatever you want to call it. Make sure to remove the border, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and apply this color to our new one. And I'm going to call this one, for example, BTN light, like so. Then I'm going to use my text tool, type in click me and I'm going to make sure to apply this character style. So once again, Poppins 48 points. Make sure it's in the center, Control D to duplicate it. And I'm going to move this second copy down. And then I'm going to hide these two just so I can see what I'm writing and say something like, oh yeah, like this. Now that that's completed, what I want to do is duplicate this one once again, position it to the top and call it mask. Now you can approach this uh, in any way that you want. You can remove this corner radius if you want to. But what I actually did with my original example is I simply hold my alt key and expanded it to something like this and then in other direction as well. Uh, you don't have to be too precise. The whole point is just to mask this area. Uh, it doesn't matter which shape you use. You can use any one of these shapes really. So I'm going to hold these, use my shift key and then shift control M or shift command M and call it mask. After I've done that, I want to group all of them, hit control G and call it button. Now I want to hit control or command K to turn this into a component. And then first things first, let's create a new state and I'm going to call it clicked because uh, recently you had to first create the hover state and then all of your other states. But now with the recent addition to Adobe XD, you can switch places to your component states, which I'm going to show you in just a second. So in this clicked state, what I want to do is simply select my mask. And in my original example, my mask went into this direction, but let's now use this direction like so. And it's going to basically mask the entire portion of our button. And that's basically it. So now I want to go back to here, click on my plus, select the hover state, call it hover. And this is the new addition, which I think it's quite fun. You can simply click and drag and arrange it just like you do in your layers panel. So you can basically position these um, component states however you want to. And inside of our hover state, what we want is basically to select this button light and you can hold your shift and alt for example to scale it down evenly to something like this and just remember these two so 309 104 i'm going to select this one and basically go to the same uh, distances so 309 104 so basically exactly the same now let's go to the default state and we have to prototype these so hover state is already prototype as you can see it right here. So when I click right here to add a tap interaction, I'm going to choose tap auto animate because I wanted to animate automatically. Choose the state, I'm going to choose clicked state and you can choose any one of these. So in my original example, I just went with ease in out, but we can use snap for example, to see how that looks like. 0.6 is quite good for the duration, clicked. And I'm going to I'm going to go back to the same direction and use snap 0.6 auto animate, but now go back to the default state so that we can exit out of this button if we want to for any reason. So when I hit control or enter to preview and when I hover, you can see that it shrinks and when I click, it's going to reveal in this direction. Now we can go back and uh, go back to the default state and choose something like one second, for example. So when I click, it's going to go nicely. And when I click back, it's going to go just a tiny bit faster. Of course, you can go ahead and play around with these settings. So this was snap. You can choose, let's say bounce, 
go back to clicked state and choose bounce on it again and when I click you can see that it sort of bounces into this corner and when I click back it now bounces into this corner so it's really all up to you but for my taste I really like snap because it just snaps into position and let's preview that one more time so hover works really nicely and of course you can play around with this text you can rotate it on hover for example or it can change the color or you can um, add additional let's say drop shadows or a gradient or image overlay you can do with this whatever you want but for this case I just kept it nice and simple so when I click you can see that it looks like this so there we go that's our video for today if you enjoyed it make sure to like it and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i upload new videos every single week all about adobe xd passive income techniques design tips and so much more so if you like content like that make sure to subscribe not to miss out on future videos and until next time take care